we are about six kilometers from the border from uh, Guatemala to El Salvador and this epic queue of trucks just started and it looks like it's gonna go all the way to the border and it's insanely hot and humid really really hot and humid this I think the hottest at least it feels like the hottest we've ever had on this trip Whoa. at the border now and technically already in El Salvador the only thing is um, we're trying to get a stamp in our passports an entry stamp but they don't actually want to give it to us because apparently uh, as with a German passport we don't need the stamp but um, on like the the German embassy and everywhere we've read it they recommend to definitely get a stamp because otherwise you could have issues leaving the country again and so on so we're kind of having to beg them to give us a stamp now. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll see. Looks like they don't stamp at all here, but they said that this document that they gave us in Guatemala should also be for here. Okay. And they said we shouldn't have problems <laughs> at the border to Honduras. So I hope they're right. Okay, let's see. to a new country <laughs> so we at first we wanted to sleep at a hotel but they weren't too expensive and then we thought why not ask at the church and that turned out great um, the padre even gave us some some fruits and mosquito spray very important here <laughs> and yeah we slept very well and we even had a shower bathrooms and it was perfect and just really nice yeah, and now we're heading towards the coast in El Salvador. So, some first impressions of El Salvador. Um, cycling is pretty nice so far because we have a big shoulder and it's not too much traffic so far of course there's some but not non-stop um we'll see us people are really friendly here and there's less garbage i feel like than in guatemala there is still garbage at the side of the road but not as much
tunnels in this road, which is nice because I wouldn't want to climb that. And this is in general a really nice road. It's a bit exhausting because we're going up and down in the heat, but it's very empty and the road is perfectly paved and it's really, really nice to cycle here. So thank God this road has a few tunnels uh, to cool off a bit. The only problem is because it's so bright outside, when you go in the tunnel you can't see anything. Like I literally cannot see anything. Now there's a truck coming and I don't know if he can see anything. Ah oh, shit. So to us it kind of feels like El Salvador is like a will be a tourist place, a touristy place in like I don't know five years or something. You can see so many of these beach towns are being built up, there's so much construction and uh, while you already, you already have like a few pretty fancy looking resorts but not that many, like not hardly as many as there could be on this coast which is I think kind of the problem that yeah it's just an up-and-coming tourist place and like Guatemala was super touristy I feel like El Salvador is kind of gonna be next you know in yeah five years ten years who knows and I think they could be pretty sad that it's at the moment still a pretty pretty nice place here because it's so empty mostly and if it's just more yeah touristy I think it could be it could be a bit of a shame but I guess that's the way it is with so many places. Wow, this is crazy here. It's just this El Salvador we just experienced the last two days is just gone. It's just completely different here. It's crazy. That was extremely nice. We were just uh, working on the bikes a bit, doing some maintenance. Um, still this morning, after being woken up at like uh, 5.30 because uh, people started setting up chairs and like a, um, like a little outdoor kitchen and so on <laughs> because uh, they were having like a yeah, Sunday morning church feast in front of the church and then <laughs> We were, after doing the maintenance, then the, the, the padre came out and invited us for pupusas, which is like a traditional um, El Salvador dish, which we already had yesterday, which is really nice. It's like a tortilla filled with beans and cheese, and it's, oh, it's great. And uh, for coffee and so on now this morning, and it's, yeah, it was awesome, really nice of them. <laughs> This is already our last day in uh, El Salvador. Our five days, I think, now? Yeah. Five days have flown by and yeah, we're almost at the border to Honduras. And we actually have to say that El Salvador was almost one of our favorite countries to cycle in now. Um, 
the coast was beautiful, the roads are in pretty good condition the whole time and you always have a shoulder. Um, and even the bigger roads have a bike lane, an actual bike lane. And sure, some of the more busy places, touristy places weren't, weren't that nice, but that's always the case. But the rest of it definitely made up for it. Yeah, and the people were very nice to us. People were very friendly. Um, so yeah, we'll see how this continues in Honduras now. Guatemala before the border the trucks are standing in line but this time at least we have a bike lane <laughs> that's 